Yo, check it out, man. It's just giving me, and I'm just about to give y'all a bill that's gonna change our mind. For some reason, I'm into the small ball. Like, whenever I make a bill, I'm making a short. I'm making them short, man. It's just that athleticism is off the chart. So, of course, we're gonna bring y'all the live threat. All right, the live threat. And of course, you know, we did. We went ahead and made the pure blue pie chart. Straight finishing. First pie chart, you can't miss it, all right? Now, I'm gonna do a couple things with the physical. I'm gonna go with like pure speed, and then I'm gonna hit you with the strength. Matter of fact, this is one right here. I'm gonna hit you with the strength and vert. No, I want you, I want strength and speed and acceleration, okay? So I just wanna see what it is. Um, what I did was I've got them to like a 91 strength, and that's key because you don't have a lot of badges defensively all right so the thing is with the live threat if you're trying to get a live threat and i played around with this so many times it got to be 85 uh close shot like an 81 driving everything else is maxed out that's how you get a live threat you can't you can only be a live threat if you have 26 finishing badges and in my opinion the max is 30. it's okay to have four less badges do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth do you really need 30 to dunk on them? You don't. 26 is really good. 22, even, I, I wanna say even better, but you can manage more with 22. So right here, you see, I'm actually at a 93 strength, but of course, the minute you start touching that wingspan, you're gonna lose some strength. All right, so I put it at 86, that's good, uh, cause I get the plus five um, standard dunk. I'm at 99 dunk. Live threat, okay. John Collins, my boy, only for the Hawks. Y'all might not know who it is, but he's a baller. He just he's on a good team. We gotta get better. Uh, of course, classic Blake Griffin. And you already know Zion Williams. If you got Zion Williams in your build, man, you're gonna be good. All right, you're gonna be good. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is, I think what I end up, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the badges. I'm gonna go ahead and throw y'all the badges. Remember, 26, 10, 9, and 8. Um, I got another couple of threats in this video. Y'all gotta stay tuned to the end because I got a lot of different variations how you want to make this build. Uh, as far as finishing, I will you know, kind of do the Relentless on Hall of Fame. Um, the, how I play, I like to do post moves. So that means I'm going to use Back Down Punisher. I'm going to use Drop Step on Hall of Fame to get that crazy animation. Um, I like Put Back Boss. I do. I do like put that boss because I'm thinking if you're going to be in the paint, you get off his rebound. You're, that put that boss on silver or bronze is going to trigger relentless. It's going to trigger uh, contact finisher. Um, so that's what you want. Now, as far as shooting, I got you 10 badges. I got you 10 badges on a build that normally doesn't supposed to shoot. So with that being said, y'all got to y'all gotta get y'all fade game up. Y'all gonna have to get your fade game. Maybe you don't want to do fades. Maybe you just do catch and shoot goal. But I went with the I went with the deep fades. All right. So again, I'm a guy who likes post move, so I'm throwing post spin move on. You might not roll like that, and maybe you want to do bell lot. Maybe you want to do a pluck. Maybe you want to do passer. Maybe I would say dream set, dream shape, but that's still post move. So uh, that's that's how y'all want to play. How y'all want to play? Now ten, my fault. Eight defensive badges. So, you know, you got to throw uh, rebound chase on silver. It's cool. You don't have to have a goal because you're already athletic. You're going to make up for a lot of things. Go ahead, throw Intimidate on. Go ahead, get you a nice little animation with Rim Protector. All right. So now, okay, now we get into the other part. All right. So now this one, I actually went with the speed, pie, speed physical pie chart. The first one, can't miss it, all the way at the top. All right. So now I'm getting you 26, 10, 10, and 8. Last time I gave you nine and eight. So I'll give you one more play, make it bad for you to do whatever you want to do. So you see, you see right now I was at an 81 speed. 81 speed, 6'7", live threat. My boy John Collins, all right? Pia Siakam, uh, I don't know why they throw him, but oh, okay. You know, he got to get better. Um, so now this is what I did. So now I figure, okay, what I'm going to do now is I gave y'all two live threats. All right, two live threats. At both 6-7. This time I'm gonna hit you with a 6-8. Bam! You get a rim protector takeover just because you went up higher. And my guy Mari Stoudemire. Now, if you know you got a Mari Stoudemire in your build, you know he's gonna be the truth. 
I like when I saw that, I said, I might have to make this guy. Even though I got other guys that's kind of similar, sometimes that Hall of Fame finishing moves different. You know, you could have a pure red and still get contact dunks, but they don't move the same as these guys, all right? They don't. Now, I already gave y'all 6'7, I gave y'all 6'8. You know what's next? I gotta give y'all 6'9. Oh, well. Takashi, whatever. But yeah, man. So I'm gonna get y'all six nine um, live threat again. Amari Stoudemire, man. This build is really good. Y'all gonna love it in the party. I I bet it's gonna get busy and wreck. I got a couple of clips for y'all. And again, man, this is just Gilmy me. Bring out a live threat video. Um, stay tuned. I got some more build videos. I'm in the lab, baby. I'm in the lab.